Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pino and this is our snack for the journey, another week and we're still in the book of numbers and we are walking a little bit slower than the last time that we were walking through the Bible and we're, we're taking more time in, in the books uh, so that is that's one th good thing but it's not enough we know that you know that I know that it's not enough but we are getting other verses that we didn't have time to see important very important verses uh, and I'd like to encourage you to share this video with your friends family to subscribe to our channel and, uh, and so you will uh, receive notification if you want when I, I publish the, the, the videos. Today we're going to see a very interesting verse. We are in the book of Numbers. Uh, has that name because they, they did the census uh, twice. One in the beginning, the other one in the end. Uh, and counted everybody and at least the, some people, the, the, the age. And so they counted and to be sure that they, how many people they had. And today we're going to see a very, very interesting verse and a very beautiful verse. Let me share with you. It's in the chapter 20, verse 10. It says this, He and Aram gathered the assembly together in front of the rock, and Moses said to them, Listen, you rebels, must we bring you water out of this rock? This was the downfall for Moses and Aaron. And Moses, because of this, Moses did not enter in the Promised Land. He was able to see from the mountain, he was able to see the Promised Land, but he was not able to go. Why? If you read the context, the context will... It's very important when you read a verse, you read the verses before and then the verses after, is the context to give you the idea. We don't have time to do this here, but um, I'll tell you the story. People complain from God, they don't have water, this and that, and God said, Moses, go to the water and talk to the water, and I will give water to them. And Moses was, I don't know if I can say that word, but was fed up with the people. He had it. And so he's, he comes and says this, he gathered the people, probably the, the leaders of the people, the families, say, you rebels, can I do that? Must we bring you water out of this rock? And he hit the, the rock. And he struck the rock twice, if you read the next verse. And the water came out of the rock. And God was extremely upset with Moses. He did, he was doing so well. <laughs> he was doing so well. And then he messed it up big. And God, he didn't lose his salvation, his importance. Not he, God said, okay, you're not going to go to the land with these people. He's a rebel people, and you are rebel too. You did good, prepare the next one, but you're not going. And sometimes we, we, we face situations, people face situations in their lives that uh, they're, go they're going so well, being faithful, being faithful, being faithful, and then suddenly they do something so crazy, so stupid. And we need to, this is the, the importance for this is to, it's a, uh, is to help us to watch what we say, what we do, and principally in public, how we give our testimony to people outside, because this was a public meeting. All the leaders were there. They were waiting for Moses to do something, and God said, I'm going to do it. You're going to talk to the rock, and I'm going to provide water, and, and Moses, he doubted. He said, can we do that? And he, writ, he struck the rock twice, and God said, hey, God gave the water. Thank God, he's faithful, he's good, he's gracious. But God said, okay, Moses, you did that in front of the people. 
you did that to me. You didn't trust me. You didn't trust me. In front of the people, you're not going to go to the land. You're just going to see from from the mountain top. And we need to be very careful with our lives, our testimony. And uh, and and as of course. In, the, in Moses' cases, he knew better. Some of us, we don't know enough. So sometimes we're going to mess it up, but it's not going to be that big because we don't know enough. But Moses had no excuse. He saw God doing things, you know. And God, Jesus will say in the New Testament, of, of those that are given too much, they will have required too much. It's, yes, God give you too much, God's going to require too much. And we need to be careful. All of us, we need to be careful with our testimony, our public testimony. So we will not shame God, our Lord. And that is a very important text for us. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.